Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Manager Certification. We are in chapter one, continuing with the test process. And as a part of this tutorial, we are looking into the part two of understanding the test analysis. As a part one, we understood the basic concepts, what exactly the activities of test analysis could be and uh, what would be the necessity of creating test conditions at more detailed manner. But now here we are going to continue further to understand that what could be the advantages of creating uh, test conditions at detail level? Like why should we uh, create a test condition more detailed and how it can exactly benefit uh, many of the stakeholders and as a part of your process also several activities which are being conducted. So facilitates uh, more flexibility in relating other test work products. Of course, the more the test conditions detailed are, of course, it helps you to clearly identify that how exactly these conditions are related to other parameters like requirement, test design, or sorry, the test uh, overall designing and architecture, the codes, the workflow, control flow, and so many other work products. And of course, everything can be very well related to the test condition if in case it is very detailed because you know each and every parameter what you will be covering as a part of that particular test condition contributes to the defect prevention as discussed in the foundation level by occurring early in a project for higher levels of testing as soon as the test basis is established and potentially before system architecture and detailed design are available. So of course, this helps you to analyze certain test bases much earlier in the life cycles, of course. Uh, as detailed it is, you can very well find out a lot of mistakes uh, because if it is going to be brief, then probably don't you get into the details of that. But yes, getting into the details could lead you to find more and more defect about the requirements much earlier in the life cycle. So double benefit of having the detailed test condition. Relates testing work product to stakeholder in terms that they can understand. Of course, writing details will definitely include other necessary information which would be uh, following the protocols of the other stakeholders like developers or project management or even the architecture team that is design team. Because if we very briefly give them information like uh, number of test cases being executed, that doesn't mean anything to them. All right, it is nothing because they don't really understand. Okay, just executed certain test cases, right? But is there anything else what you have done? So how exactly you can relate? So if it is more detailed, you can actually showcase that these are the code coverages, these are the functional coverages, these are the condition coverages based on execution of these test cases. Helps influence the direct, not just other testing activities, but also other development activities. So at any point of time, it will influence to tell you that how exactly we will be testing a product, what kind of scenarios we have cre created, and in turn, it will help the design architecture and development team that how exactly uh, you know you should be drafting your things and you should be providing me necessary information in order to organize all the executions of the test cases. So it will definitely influence uh, and direct not just other testing activities, but also some of the development activities. Enables test design, implementation, and execution together with the resulting work products to be optimized by more efficient coverage of detailed measures and targets. The traceability and the coverage measurement becomes more simpler as it is more detailed and you can very well pinpoint things that how exactly each test is, is covering a particular test condition and also provides the basis for clearer horizontal traceability within a test level. Horizontal testability says that the number of test cases which are associated with each requirement, then how many test cases have you written for each test condition and uh, how many of them are being executed and how exactly uh, it's being getting covered when you continue doing the executions for specific test levels as well. So putting it all together, of course, there are several advantages which you can avail by having the test conditions as detailed. Moving forward and discussing more about the other options like disadvantages of writing test condition at detail level. Of course, it is time consuming because it takes more effort, more time in order to write details of each and every condition. So of course, it will take a lot of time as a part of your process. So if in case you are having a tight schedule or limited duration to work on this, we'd recommend not going into the details. Maintainability can become difficult because more and more information. So if in case you have to update anything, of course, a lot of things have to be updated and traceability which are related to that should also be equally measured in order to maintain them as well. Level of formality needs to be defined and implemented across the team. 
That means what kind of formal way of applying the template or understanding a content should be told or determined at the beginning or before creating a detailed document to the entire team. That's exactly the detailed information will be giving them the guidelines to utilize all those information could be another complicated thing to be applied uh, for having detailed test conditions. Specification of detailed test conditions can be particularly effective in the following situation. That means where it is recommended to have a detailed test condition. Not everywhere, of course, because we do have advantages as well as disadvantages. But to overcome the disadvantages, we should understand where exactly it is recommended to have test details or test condition in more detailed way. Number one, lightweight test design documentation methods. If you want to reduce your effort on test case creation, then of course you can spend more time on the test case, test conditions creation so that test condition can anytime be referred that what these test cases are all about and definitely uh, it will reduce your effort towards execution of or preparation of the test cases little or no formal requirements or other development work products are available as the test basis so if you see that when you talk about agile methodologies you do see that your user stories are very brief like to the point but may not have all detailed information so when you see that your test basis could be a requirement, architecture, control flows, use cases, if they are very brief, then of course you have to have something detailed so that you can, your testing team can refer. So you make sure that as a part of the test condition, you include more detailed options. Another one is the project is large scale, complex or high risk. So three factors here, talking about the large scale project, at the same time the project is even having certain complexity and even including a higher risk areas, then of course it requires a better detail to follow everything pin to pin or maybe you know every single corner of the product must be tested well and that's where detailed conditions would be very helpful in order to measure all the points additionally test conditions may be specified with less details when the test basis can be related easily and directly to the test design work products for example if your test basis are more detailed just it is just the other way around you can reduce your effort on creation of the test conditions in terms of the detail you want. So if you find your test basis more detailed, the requirements are very well documented, then you generally can reduce your effort while creating the test conditions. More, of course, uh, this is more likely to be the case of the following, for example, unit testing. Now unit testing or component level testing is generally at brief things. So to the point, so of course, the requirements are more than enough, whatever you may have. And uh, for that, you don't really have to put a lot of pressure because it is at component level. It is just about a unit and feature, what exactly you can have. So they are very, very brief. So you don't really have to create a detailed test condition for that. Less complex projects, of course, if it is less complexity, you can have a less detailed test conditions because for more complex things, you would need more details. Acceptance testing where use cases can be utilized to help define test. Of course, when it comes to acceptance testing, it is more from a business perspective, business uh, point of view, that is business flow, business requirements are being measured. So of course, use cases are very good test basis for conducting acceptance testing or preparing the test cases for acceptance testing. And in that case, when we are making use of use cases, we can reduce a lot of our effort on creation of the test condition. So well, this is what we wanted to convey you as a part of the test condition to tell you that what could be the advantages, disadvantages, and at the same time, where do you recommend the detailed test condition and where the brief test condition or little weight, uh, lightweight uh, test conditions would be more than enough. So that is what we just wanted to explore here. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and respond to them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.